G'day and welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we've got the Trail Watts extender battery that we're going to fit to this specialized bike. We're going to show you how to modify the bike to accommodate this battery so you can get extended range on your rides. Next thing we're going to do is remove the battery connector and four Allen keys holding this side cover on. Next step, we're going to remove the factory loom so that we can modify it to accept the trail watch system. So this plug connects to the motor just here. On the back of the plug, just behind here, which you won't be able to see in the video, is a little clip. So you'll get it with a screwdriver. Just pry it up a little bit while you wiggle the plug. Now you can see this here is the little clip that we were just prying up. Just clean it off a bit, there it is. And on the back of the loom is the little clip that it latches onto right there. All right, the next step is to take this cover apart so we can take the original loom out, replace it with the trail watts loom. To do that, we're gonna undo these four Allen keys. Once these screws are out, you can just gently pry the cover up. There we go, the old loom is removed. All right, next thing we're gonna do is get the trail watts loom. Just gonna get that plug and line it up how it was. Get that cover. And now we'll reinstall the Allen keys, Allen key bolts. There we go. Next thing we've got to do is modify this side cover so that the cable from the trail watts flume here can come out the side and connect to the new battery. So we need to cut 1.5 centimeters down or approximately one centimeter across near this hole. If we flip it over, we can see there's a nice straight edge of molded plastic. We're gonna use this as a guide to cut along. So 1.5 centimeters down, one centimeter across to take a little cut out out of here. All right, you can see I cut out here. If you're nervous, just cut it a little bit at a time and test it with the cable. You want a nice snug fit like that. We cut it out with a metal cutting disc on a portable angle grinder. It's not really a precision tool, so I would be careful doing it that way. Alternatively, a Dremel or similar tool would be easier to do it more precisely. All right, first step to installation, we're gonna get the TriWatts module here. I tuck it into this gap, put it behind this screw mount, and then we're going to get the wires, the three wires, red ones and the one black coming off it. I'm going to tuck them nicely under where this plug goes. 
And we're going to put that plug in. Next thing I'll do is I'll just pop this here so we can see where the wires need to reach. We're going to get this one. We're going to go behind. Tuck it in between the motor and the guards, like so. We can put that battery one back where it needs to go. Now we can neaten up these wires a little bit. And we can reinstall our side cover, which will keep all this in. All right, got these wires tucked in. So they'll fit under the cover, we'll get this cover. It goes in the top first. Like that. At this point, if you notice it's not going in enough, you might need to trim a little more room. Up at the top here, you'll be able to tell if you can see the Allen key, if that lines up or not. So in our case, the hole looks good. Start with this one. When you're putting these ones in, you want to make sure no wires are getting pinched between your bolt and the thread, or anywhere else for that matter. Before you tighten it fully up, you want to make sure the battery cover goes in like that. You can feel there's a little gap at the bottom here. It should come together nicely as you tighten it up. Okay, there we go. Side cover installed, still easily disconnect our battery and the new battery lead coming out. Next we're going to remove the default bottle cage. On the cage you can see it's been cut out to allow it to sit further down the frame so we want to mount it right down the bottom. On this bike, there's a longer screw and a spacer at the bottom, so we're going to reuse that spacer. We're going to get the shorter screw that came out of the top. Slide the new battery in. And there we have it. Okay, so the lead comes up and around the battery. Then you can connect it to the one coming off the battery. We can tuck it in. just behind the battery like this. Then we can wrap it with a Velcro strap like that, keep it all nice and tucked in while we're riding. It comes with a cap for when you're not riding, which you can install into the end of the lead and you can Velcro the lead around your frame while the battery's out or cable tied into this cage or something like that. Also comes with a waterproof hood that you can install over the battery if you're going to be riding in wet, dirty conditions. 
So that's it, the kit's installed, ready to go on your specialised bike and you can enjoy some extended range. We also have kits available for Shimano if you're interested, so if you're interested in either of these in Australia and New Zealand, you can head to our Epic eBikes site and find them there. If you're interested outside of Australia, you can look up Trail Watts online, you'll be able to find them offering the kits for the UK and all sorts of other countries around the world.